Hi everyone, it's Cindy here from West Wind Counseling and Eating Disorder Recovery Center. First of all, Happy New Year. Thankful that you're here. Um, I hope the new year is bringing you lots of happiness and blessings so far and that it's been somewhat easeful moving into 2024. So today I wanna to spend a little time talking about New Year's resolutions, the whole idea of new year, um, new you, right? It can be really challenging and complicated to navigate, especially for those of us um, with disordered eating, those in dis eating disorder treatment or recovery. And today I wanna spend a little time talking um, about how to navigate the season of resolutions without jeopardizing your recovery. So while reflecting on the year prior and identifying areas of growth can have really positive intentions, there's a lot of research that shows that most New Year's resolutions include um, a body modification or weight loss as a strategy for self-improvement. It's actually estimated that 20 to 25% of dieters actually go on to develop a clinical eating disorder and even more will develop disordered eating. So that's the first part of why these resolutions can be harmful, but there's also a lot more to it as well. Um, part of it reinforces the harmful belief that smaller bodies are the ideal, discounting body diversity um, and shape. Often per it often perpetuates the myth that smaller bodies are always physically healthier. It reinforces the falsehood that weight loss will always lead to happiness and improved body image. These kind of resolutions um, contribute to diet culture, weight stigma, consumerism. They often lead to disconnecting us from our body's cues and signals. Um, and oftentimes they invoke a lot of feelings of failure um, or shame if we're unable to meet or sustain certain goals. So um, that being said, I really want to validate to how challenging it can be to navigate this time of year um, for everyone, even though we know um, we may want to stay clear of it, like logically, emotionally, that can be a lot easier said than done. So first of all, um, if you are considering that kind of resolution, I want you to think about the source that it's coming from. Is this coming from you? right? Because um, oftentimes it will take a lot of mental energy. Um, it'll take a lot of time and this to, to follow through with such a resolution. Um, and that time then isn't spent on pursuing things we actually value, like our deeper true values that we hold for ourselves. Um, and oftentimes a lot of them come from the source of big industries who profit, um, such as the diet, fitness, wellness, beauty industry, right? From trying to create a lot of anxiety and insecurity. Um, from us. On top of that, we also have the scroll right into our social medias. So I want you to consider too, is are those um, influences coming from your social media too? And maybe it's time to kind of clean up some of that as well. Oftentimes, one of our biggest influences can be our friends and family. So considering that what your friends and family are saying and are doing are not factual, right? Their desire to pursue um, body changes or weight loss, right? Um, is all up to them and not up to us. I know, again, that can be a lot easier said than done, but um, trying to separate a bit of yourself from them can be a helpful strategy. Um, I also just want to continue to normalize that this can be a really challenging time of year. Um, the emotions that come up, let's again continue to normalize them, right? And not just try to push them away. We want to be able to feel some of these uncomfortable emotions. Not only is that important, right? If we don't feel it, we often can't heal it. Um, but feeling uncomfortable emotions is a really big part of continuing in recovery as well. Um, is it possible that you need to connect with other people who share some of the same goals and ideas um, and intentions for the new year as you? Um, finding a community of like-minded individuals can be really helpful. And last but not least, reaching out for help. Um, the West Wind here, we are a great resource. Um, if you are looking for help in the new year, pursuing um, eating disorder recovery, um, discussing disordered eating practices, um, making peace with food and body, um, we're here for you as well. And there are lots of great resources out there. Um, so just knowing, again, everyone, you're not alone navigating this, um, but let's think about how we can make this a truly the best year possible um, without necessarily having to navigate um, changing our bodies.